Hello, I'm Seema and welcome to part 9 of the chapter Thermodynamics. In this video, we, I'm going to discuss with you three solved examples of the NCRT textbook. The reason I'm going to discuss these with you now is that it is going to clarify the concept of free energy and isothermal expansion that we have done in the previous video that is in the part 8. So the first question, this is question 6.2 of your textbook, is that 2 liters of an ideal gas at a pressure of 10 atmosphere expands isothermally into a vacuum until its total volume is 10 liters. It means that 2 liters is V initial and 10 liters is V final, the final volume. How much heat is absorbed and how much work is done in the expansion? For the isothermal expansion, we know that Q is equal to minus W and delta U is zero in these cases for all isothermal processes. So we will use that formula that Q is equal to minus W, minus negative work. And what is work? Work is P external into V final minus V initial, right? Now we know what is P external? P external, let me just write this on, and V final is 10 liters minus 2 liters, which means it is 8 liters. But P external in the case here is, it is a vacuum, which means there is no gas present outside the jar. And if there is no gas, it is vacuum, then P external is zero. And if P external is zero, then obviously this entire term is equal to zero. So this is equal to zero. Since it is zero, both heat and the work done for this process would be equal to zero. So here we'd say that Q and W are equal to zero, right? Now the question 6.3 says that consider the same expansion, but this time it is against a constant pressure of one atmosphere. So what has changed here? This was an isothermal expansion of a gas from, ideal gas from two liters to 10 liters. And in the first case, we, the gas was expanding, it was a free expansion, that is it was expanding in vacuum. Now, it is not expanding in vacuum, there is atmospheric pressure and the pressure is of one atmosphere. So now what if we have to calculate the work and the heat, what would the formula be? The formula is again the same, that Q is equal to minus W, which is equal to P external <coughs> into both V2 and V1 we know, 10 minus 2. That is V final minus V initial. And since we know that W is minus P external, so and we are looking for minus W, therefore this would be a positive, the negative and negative would get cancelled. So when we calculate this, P external is one atmosphere. And what's the volume now? 8 liters, right? So this would be equal to 8 liter atmosphere, right? Uh, which is equal to 8 L atmosphere. So now let us come to 6.4. The question says that consider the same expansion to be to a final volume of 10 liters conducted reversibly. Now what has changed here? The 10 liter has only been thrown in to confuse you. What was the final volume here? The final volume was 10 liters. So by giving that information, he's only just tried to distract you from the actual point. And what is it that he's trying to, uh, what you should be focusing on? What is the process like? So the initial volume is two liters. The final volume is 10 liters. It is an isothermal process, which means temperature remains constant, but it is conducted reversibly. It is a reversible process. So in that case, how would you, what would the formula be? In the case of reversible process, Q is equal to minus W, which is equal to 2.303 nRT log V final upon V initial. Remember? So this would be equal to 2.303, what is nRT? Here, we know, according to ideal gas equation, NPV is equal to NRT. 
But we know the volume is 10 liters and the pressure is 1 atmosphere. You know, the pressure is 1 atmosphere and the volume is 10 liters. Therefore, what does NRT come to be equal to? 10 into 1 is 10. So NRT is into 10 log Vf is 10 upon 2. Right? Yeah. So when you calculate this, this comes to be equal to 16.1 liter atmosphere. 1 liter atmosphere. Right? I just wanted to discuss these three uh, solved examples uh, just to clarify mm, the concept that I had taught previously. So now in the next video, I'm going to move on to enthalpy. So if you found this short video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.